What's up, y'all? This your boy back with another Kroger video. Round four, it is. Round four. All right. So welcome to all the new subscribers. Are you, if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button on the bottom right of your screen. Make sure you hit the bell so you're notified when I upload all new videos. And make sure you turn on all post notifications. Also, if you have Instagram, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram at Mr. Couponer. It is in the description box below as, as well as my Fetch Rewards code and my Ibotta. If you click on the link, the blue link, it will take you over to that website, that particular website, and then you just go ahead and sign up. When you do sign up, I do get a small incentive, 2,000 points. You will also get 2,000 points for um, scanning in your first receipt. You can scan in any receipt, can be a grocery receipt, can be a Dollar General receipt, can be an actual uh, restaurant receipt. They do take restaurant receipts. Um, it's very easy to accumulate points. So let's go ahead and get into the haul. So originally I went to Kroger to still trying to find chicken wings, y'all. I have chicken thigh, chicken drumsticks, every part of the chicken except for the wings. I love some good chicken wings, but I cannot find any marked down. I seen someone posted on IG, their Kroger had them. So I was like, well, let me go buy and, you know, go buy and check. They was not marked down. I'm like, damn, like, but I still came out on top, y'all. Still came out on top. So what I have here, I got some swine. I got pork chops, which is a very good deal being that pork is expensive as hell right now pork chicken depending i guess depending on where you live with chicken chicken here to me is still kind of reasonable but i'm trying to get a deal so i can stock up on chicken wings because i eat chicken wings more than chicken thigh quarters and stuff like that so um so the chicken the pork they had different meat marked down i took pictures i will as always i would insert them in the video so the pork chop this is almost four pounds. This is almost four pounds of pork chop. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably about 10 pieces, 10 good sized pieces of pork chop. <coughs> Excuse me, original, original price was $14.52. Let me zoom in. Okay, focus. So it was $14.52. They marked them down to $10.69. Then they put them on clearance for $5.42. You cannot beat that, okay? Moving along, this is what I mainly went there for because they're, um, they have their pork shoulder butt, which is you can use uh, for pulled pork, I guess pot roast, you know, something like that. Put in, if you got a pressure cooker, Season that bad boy real good, marinate it, put it in the pressure cooker probably for about 30, 45 minutes. Shouldn't take no no longer than an hour. Shouldn't take a long time versus you putting it in the oven. It's gonna be good, all right? So this is, they had it um, 99 cents a pound. They only had three of these left. The other two was uh, a little bit higher or whatever. This was the cheapest one. The sale end on Tuesday. So I'm like, well, I don't know if they are gonna get them in stock again, being that today is Thursday. They may or may not. So I'm like, I don't wanna take that gamble. So I went ahead and picked one up. As you see, the original price is $2.49 a pound. This is eight pounds, y'all. Okay, let me zoom in. This is eight pounds and one ounce at $2.49 a pound. The original price was, we gonna round up. We gonna say $20. And the sell by date is still good to July the 8th, but they marked them down to 99 cents a pound. You already save $12.01. So I only paid $8.93 for eight pounds of meat. That's not even 99 cents a pound, almost 99 cents a pound. Then I went and got some peaches. They have the peaches on sale this week for 79 cents a pound. They good sizes. I don't like soft peaches. I like them still firm. So I'm going to have to eat these because they, some is a little firm. But I got three and that came to like a dollar and 23 cents. 
But for the meat, doing the calculations from the original amount to what I paid for, this is the amount that I saved on meat. $21.11. $20.11 is what I saved on this alone. On these two packs of meat alone, I saved over $20. So it's gonna last a while. Um, like I said, I'm trying to find chicken wings, but I know where to go to stock back up once I run low. So this is the receipt. I'm gonna scan it in and fetch. I mean, there's no offers or anything, but you still get 25 points for it. So as you see, those are the peaches at $1.23 for 79 cents a pound. It was a pound and a little pound, over a pound and a half. Pork chops was $5.42, the butt, with 793, you see the savings of 1201. Uh how many points I got? A few points. Okay, I got 30. So I got 155 points for June. It's like 10 cents off. Um, I probably use it, but I mean I use T-Mobile Tuesdays, which gives me more. So anyway, this is my Kroger haul number four. So each time I go and get meat, I would do a video so y'all can see what I got. Anyway, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. As always, make sure you comment, make sure you like the video so it can show up in your recommendations. Thank y'all for y'all support. Thank y'all for watching. Couponer out.